Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are watching from, you're welcome to my YouTube channel, The Decivia TV. For those who have subscribed, I say God bless you. If you have not, please do me a favor by subscribing to my YouTube channel. As you do that, may God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, I saw a heartbroken video this morning and I decided to, to still speak some little words concerning it. Because most of the things that is happening in Nigeria concerning our Nigeria police, we keep saying Nigeria is our friend, Nigeria is our friend. But do they really act as our friend? Because I am not in support of a criminal or maybe anyone going against the law. But the truth is, if the law court has not found that person guilty, you have no right to take laws into your hands. You have no right whatsoever. That is why the court is there. The court has the full right to pronounce that person guilty or not guilty. When you are suspecting that somebody is a criminal, or you'll be suspecting that somebody is doing otherwise, what you have to do is to send for that person first before you just take loss into your hand or before you conclude that that person is actually guilty of that crime. But in Nigeria own police of a thing is not like that. I don't know if they act with their, their, with, with their heart or they, with their mind or they act with their head. I don't know how they act. Sometimes I begin to think these, these people, do they really actually went to police college? Do they actually have training? Before they uh, become the police. Because they have animalistic behavior. That when they act, they don't think of, of this consequence. Okay, look at this situation now of a thing. A boy is being suspected as a courtist. You did not cut the person in the out. He was not caught in the out. He is just a suspected courtist. So what you should have done is you invite the person down to the station. Or to the necessary people in charge of it, then they query that person or they begin to investigate if actually that person is actually the courtist or if that person they actually committed that crime. Okay, just look at this case. People are sleeping and as early as 4 a.m. in the morning, you bust into people that were sleeping. And at the end of the day, you end up killing their grandmother and old woman for that sake. Don't we have conscience? Sometimes you take your work outside and do what is right. You break into people's home because you suspect that the grandson is a courtist. At that early hour of money, you don't expect the mother or the sister, even the grandmother to just be there watching you. They must have to act one way or the other. Then you guys end up beating the mother, not even the person that you people are suspecting. Beating the mother, even the sister, and end up pushing the old woman to the floor, to the ground. And at the end of the day, the woman collapsed and died in the process. And you are not even sure if this guy is actually a courtist, guys. Let it not feel as if maybe I'm just talking. I'm not in support of evil or support of anybody going against the law. But sometimes you do things right. Do it the way it's supposed to be. You don't just come up because you're being opportune to, because you're being given that privilege or the opportunity to be in that position. So you feel nobody has the right to question your order. You do what is right at a particular time. You are acting, doing your work. But doing it at the, at the wrong time is what gives people uncomfortable. So guys, I just want you guys to listen to this video and you understand what I'm saying. Clearly shows the unrest in the area. <laughs> Family members and some residents of Ejisiema Crescent weeping over the death of Mrs. Mbeke Eziaga, who was allegedly killed by a member of the special anti cult section of Nigeria police. Close relatives painfully narrate the incident. There are plenty, and they started beating my grandma and my mom. After that, they, they slapped me at my face. And they, they pushed my mom, and my mom collapsed. My grandmother collapsed. And she fell out and died. The police is said to have visited Mrs. Ziaga's compound after they got a tip that her grandson is involved in cult activity. <laughs> 
efforts to get reactions from the Anambra State Police Command proved abortive. However, a member representing Anocha constituency at the State House of Assembly is not happy and calls for justice. Around 4 a.m. in the morning, people swooped into the house with guns, well armed, taking everything by force, doing everything by force, beating people. So the, the woman, the dad, through the bush, dead out of shop because they are not doing any such a thing. And this has been happening. We so suspect the person that is here. God is insane. We just invite him to come. If he fails to come, he will take the necessary action. But the ugly representative says the police is already investigating the matter. Guys, you saw that video. I'm not a supporter of party, but what I'm trying to say here is they should have invited the guy or look for a way to get the guy arrested and try to confirm if the information about the guy is actually true or not. Because you burst into people's house as early as 4 a.m. in the morning while they were still asleep. And you did not even catch the guy in question. Then why harassing the me members of the family? Then why beating the mother of the child, of the guy? And you end up beating the grandmother as well, an old woman for that matter. To the essence of pushing her to fall, she collapsed and died in the process. So if you ask me, I will say that law, that law has to take its course in this place. Because those police guys did not act well at all. Sometimes, I do, I may, maybe sometimes they should try to at least still call these police people in order to still take them for training, even when they are already policemen. They should also sometimes organize a seminar for them as well, to still be going once in a while. To keep learning the process, to keep learning how to handle cases, to keep learning how to handle issues. They just don't go to people's house and begin to act, uh, begin to act uh, uh, in animalistic behavior. It's not done. You don't expect those people you meet at home to just fold their hands and begin to watch you, harass them like that. Whether they have a way to protect themselves or not, at least they are humans, they must speak. They must try to stop you from doing whatever you want to do. Because you came to them unexpectedly. And even the guy in question was not even caught, was not at home. So my people, I don't know what you guys think about this video. Feel free to leave your, your, your comment in the comment section. Like and share this video and give me thumbs up for it. And if you have not subscribed, please do. Click the subscription and also because uh, the notification bell. So that whenever I upload any video, you'll be notified. I should do that. May God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen.